Okay, so um, I want to um, talk about what's going on and I want to have an open communication. I want to take turns talking. Yeah. Let, it, uh, let me talk for a little bit and when I'm done, maybe we could hold, a, hold something. That means you get to talk. Mm-hmm. All right. How about some vitamin C? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go first if you don't mind. Yeah. Okay, so um, I've been enjoying having you guys here. You know what I mean? It's nice having having uh, humans around. And especially feminine energy, it's, um, it's a beautiful thing to be around. No matter what your relationship is to, to it. And I appreciate that. And... Um, Having you here living with me in the house has been one of the most beautiful times of my life because I get to I get to create and I don't have to take care of the nuts and bolts and it's fucking beautiful. I love it. I do. It makes me feel so good. It makes me feel really loved. And and those guys they annoy me a little bit, but um, for the most part, I like them all, right? Okay, so the part that, I, that I'm having trouble with is that something was said to me, and um, I did things based upon the words that were said, and, um, and then, okay, so you know this is about the... The money that I loaned her for the car. Car, yeah. Okay, so. Out the car. So she said she was gonna sell the, get the car up here and get the car ready to get sold and that and sell it and I would get my money out of that. Mm -hmm. So, but since then she has said, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna do that. Right. Mm -hmm. So, it doesn't matter her intentions, or um, or what she meant by it or what happened. The result is. She didn't do what she said she was going to do. She, we had a verbal contract and she broke it. Okay, so <clears throat> if God told her to do that, that means that uh, God is telling, telling her to make me, or this is how I feel about it, that I don't trust her because she broke her word. And a person goes by their word. Okay, so um, it makes me feel like what else can they do? It makes me feel unsafe in my own home. And... Um, and, you know, we had this contract, man. We went to town and we bought all these plants and all that. You know, it's like, I let them pick out whatever they want. And then it's like, um, uh, she's got something more important to do right before we're getting ready to start this big project. That was devastating to me. And then she, she's she gone for two weeks and then she comes, comes back when I'm not here and does whatever. And, um, and, and doesn't talk to me, that's not right. But, you know what I mean? It's like, especially when she left her son here and her son got, got had to have cops come up here and the cops walked around here because of the actions and she didn't have to deal with it. I was dealing with it up here. She was just down there. You know what I mean? That, that to me is all really unfair. And here's the thing. Um, if... Um, if she, if we had some commitment, you know what I mean. If there was some, if there was some bond there, it would be different because that would be my, that would be the person that I had a commitment with. It, with, but it's not, it's not like that. It's just like she can come and go whenever she wants. It doesn't have any commitment to me, even though she said she was just gonna, we, we were gonna plan all this stuff. You know what I mean? That, that right there was like huge. It's like she has no, she has no. Um, honor about what she says and um, and she's like uh, I don't know something is determined in her just to just do whatever she wants even though she said she was going to do something that's not right leaving me with those plants leaving me with those plants and, and for two weeks and then coming back and not planning them and not doing what she said what she was going to do that's that's fucked up in my book and she cheated me out of six hundred dollars, and that's what I've come down to. If you want to talk, you can have this thing. <laughs> I don't have to hold up that of this evening. Mm. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, 
but it's it's hard to explain to other people but you know I've watched Adelie a long time and even with myself um, my own prayer life there are certain times and and you say oh do we do everything Adelie 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 we have our own prayer life, we, and we do hear from Father, and we do step out and do things that we're supposed to do, and then we'll hear him say, like, uh, what was that this morning, uh, something personal I was praying about, and I actually heard the answer to it, just that quick. I'm like, oh, wow, okay, thank you, and then I looked it up, and, and I got my answer, and it's like, we all have our own personal relationship with Father, and if he... I know you don't understand it, uh, it doesn't make sense, but, you know, he does talk to her, and when, when he tell, tells her, and he tells Sean, or Brittany, or any of us to go do something, or, or you know, look, we gotta pick up her, yeah. you know, like, I've heard Sean testify, I've heard Britt, you know, oh, Father told me this today, and then they, they would go either look it up on the internet, or go do whatever it is, or go pray, I mean, I've, all of us have that. It's mm -hmm. not just Adelie. We all have it. We, we all have it. Carla is the most, out of the whole bunch, she's the quietest, and we don't know what he hears. He never tells nothing to nobody. Yeah. <laughs> He's the quiet one, you know. Yeah. But he gets his music downloads all the time, and he, yeah. he just got, he has beautiful music he does. Yeah. But that's the main thing we know about Carla. Yeah. But all of us get dreams. Yeah. Visions, words. Yeah. Um... We, we hear instantly sometimes him tell us to do go do this or go pray over here, go over here, and we go do it. And Adelie, when she heard that she had to get up and go, Father says, go to Modesto, yeah. to Connie's, because I got some people there. And so I've got something for you to do there. And then when she got there, so there's the people. They came to Connie's house that they, because Connie had talked to him about uh, some of the stuff, the work that she did with her. Yeah. And so the people were there, and they kept coming, and 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 wanting more and more and more, and wanting help with certain things. And so, she had to be there, and she had to, you know, his father says, stay there, stay there. Yeah. And I understand where you're coming from, what your, you know, the situation with the car. But in the money, I understand all that. And, and to a normal normal person, that, you know, would seem like, you know, that's my money. I let you use $400. But all I can say, I mean, I've never, we've never been in this type of situation with $400 and dealing with a vehicle like that we've never i mean this is a honestly this is a first this is the first time we've ever dealt with a situation like this where 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 uh, she's had money from someone and then uh has to pay them back we've never usually we just have the money and it's you know we've never had that such this type of situation happen it's like a um you know, what do you do? All we can do is pray and say, okay, Father, when you're ready to give us the money, you know, just, just, you know, we know that you're going to have the money or however you want it to happen. Show us what to do, how to do it. But we have to pray and ask him exactly how to do it, how he wants it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We've never been in this type of situation. Mm -hmm. Like with you, like some, like this. Yeah. This is a first uh -huh. I've, I've seen. Okay. So usually it's, <laughs> we don't have this, like, we owe somebody. Yeah. We've never owed anybody anything. Yeah. right. Because we always have it just flow, 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 flow. Money just flows to us. And yeah. blessings flow to us and people come to us. And, you know, just it's just like Father made a miracle happen with my family where I got a big chunk of money. Yeah. I mean, he just handed that right and boom, there it was. We went on a trip. I mean, it's just like miracles after miracle, we have things happen. Yeah. So, you know, with this thing with the $400, all I can say to you is <laughs> pray about it and just, you know, 
I understand it. I understand it fully. But all we do is pray about it and all you can do is pray about it and just say, Father, I want my hundred four hundred $400. When am I going to get my $400? You know, to the Father. Um, and, and, you know, not, I don't know. Being angry about it and mad at her is not going to, I mean, it's not going to help. But okay, all I'm so saying is pray about it and then she's praying about it too, what to do. Okay, all right, so. That's all I know. We've let never me know been, when I can talk again. Go ahead. All right, so um, it's not about the $400. I have plenty of $400. It's about the fact that she broke her word. She said she was going to do something, and, I, and I, I did something based on what she said. And then she changed. She changed what she said, and that, and that, that right there, whether you recognize it or not, is cheating someone. It's, uh, um, it's, it's just a classic case of she cheated me out of money. Okay, the other thing is, we have this contract to plant all these plants, right? I went down and spent $200 with them. They carried it back, and, you know, the the uh, implication was that they were going to help me plant it. I bought off whatever they wanted, you know, whatever plants they wanted. I let them buy it, you know, and uh, and they just, like, take off for two weeks. That's, that's good, you know, if it doesn't get done in the next week, those plants aren't going to be no good. I spent all that money for what? They, they just, like, messed up my garden. You know what I mean? They've been here all winter, and you know what? I ask very little of them. They get free Wi-Fi, they get free electricity, they get free water, they get refrigeration, you know. Um, and, and what do I ask for them? Hardly anything. You know, it's like I don't have them working or... You know what I mean? They mostly, everyone mostly gets to do what they're, what, what they, what, you know, whatever they want. And that's, that's a nice place to be, especially in this beautiful place, right? Yeah. And so when I, when I, when they're telling me, oh, we're going to plant this and we're going to plant that, and we go out and I'll buy it, we go out and buy it and get ready, and then they take off, it's like, okay, so if God is telling them to do that, they need to not be here. You know what I mean? If that's more important to them than keeping their word to me of oh, the, the gardens that we were going to go, they should go do that and not be here. Not leave Carl, Carlisle here where he gets in trouble and the cops come, which is not good. You know, they didn't walk over to see the camp, but they might have said, hey, we don't like the way these guys are living and kicked you guys all out of here. You know, it came, it came, it, uh, it could, it could have went down that way. We don't need no cops here. And he brought the cop up here, the cops up here. You know, that's clear, that's clear a violation. And she was not here to deal with it. I dealt with it. She's gone doing whatever, not do, doing my garden like she said she was. So, here's the deal. If she doesn't figure out some way to, to make her word good, I'm taking all their stuff and taking it to the dump and taking Carlisle out of here. Now, if she, if she comes and says... Uh, I'll do. I'll do whatever you take. Whatever you say to, to um, so that we could sell the car or whatever. She puts it, puts it half in my name or something like that. If she says that, then um, then they don't they don't have to leave. But she, they gotta they gotta plant that garden. If they don't plant that garden, they gotta leave because they didn't do that shit that they told me to. If that garden's not planted by Friday, they're out of here. I'm taking all their shit out of here. I don't want you to leave. I would, I, you know, I think you're that you're wonderful, and I love my life here with you. I love, how, you know, being near you and have you help me and all that. I would just love for to have you to stay. And I, you know what? You you think that you're you're doing God's work and all that, you know, and like all this stuff's gonna happen. But you know what? It's happening to me right now here. People follow me every day from all over the place. Not only on YouTube, but all different kinds of things. I tell you, I have been blessed by God. You know, it's like God touched me and flowed, and words flowed out of me that hundreds of people sing. That's not nothing small, right? And you, what you guys are saying is, oh yeah, we're going to be there someday. But I'm here now. I would love you to stay and be, be a part of 
what's going on here now. You have a beautiful woman. You're you're fun to be with. You're a lot of help. You're smart. You know, um, whatever you think about marriage or you know what we should do about touching each other or something like that. However you want it, that's fine. I just enjoy having you here. You know, if you if you didn't go with them, I would be I would be so happy, and I would you know. I mean, you see, I try and help, I treat you nice, you know what I mean? I like to get you little treats and have your room the way you want it, you know, it's like, I would, I would, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't think that you will stay, but I'm going to ask because, um, you know, I just love having you. I love you, you know, and it, whatever that means, it's like, you're important to me and I, and make me feel good. You know, I, 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 I definitely feel loved by you, by, by you, what you do for me. You know, cooking me, cooking for me, and keeping the kitchen clean, and doing my laundry. I, I made a video where I was like, no woman has ever done this for me since my mother, which is like, wash my clothes and put them away, so that I could just pull them out. You know, how long that I, like, wished I could have that, and now I do, and it's so beautiful. It's as good as I ever thought it was going to be. And it makes me feel real loved. And no matter what, I want to thank you for these, this time that you've, you've helped me and worked, you know, just uh, did stuff for me. It's been a really beautiful blessing. And I would love for it to not to end. I would love for you to stay here. I would do anything for you. I would. If there's, you know, if you say, oh, do this and I'll stay, tell me what it is and I'll do it. Well... If I can, you yeah, know. That's, that's sweet what you, that's, you know, I appreciate, you know, that's nice and yeah. precious what you say and, you know, you appreciate everything. Yeah. Um, I, you know, it's just... If you know what you know, it's just hard to explain. You, you're not walk. You don't. I know you can't understand my journey in this life. I mean, you just can't understand. It, it's hard to explain to somebody. It really is. But I just know certain things. I know certain things uh -huh. about my future. I okay. already know. I, I've. And, and, I mean, I've seen the proof of, I've seen the proof of what is told to me or shown to me. I see the proof of it all the time. Like, it just, you know, I, can, I could give you thousands of examples uh -huh. all the time where, where even, like, the dreams I have, um, uh, it's like every one I have comes to pass, uh -huh. and we're all born with the with the, with the destiny. We're, we're born with a purpose. Yeah. And if I don't fulfill my purpose, yeah. And I go off and do something like, oh, this sounds good, or that sounds good, or yeah, you know, I think uh, yeah, something like that. I have to fulfill my purpose, and I already know. You know a, a lot of it, what it is, and I can't just dump my purpose. Like you have a purpose, and I, you don't even. I mean, you've done some of your purpose, but you don't even know the depth of the rest of your purpose. You don't even know the rest of it. There's more than what you're doing now. It's so deep, but, and I'll just say that that I know that. But I have to fulfill my purpose, what I was sent in the world to do. Just as Adelise fulfilling her, Brittany's is fulfilling hers, Sean is fulfilling his, Carla is fulfilling his, as long with many, many others that's, that's going to fulfill theirs. Because you know all about this American system. 
It's a, it's a slave system. It's Egyptian slavery. And people are living, you know, have been living under the corporate elites, you know, mm -hmm. Illuminati's and all that running everything. And that's going to change. That's going to change. Mm -hmm. And so each one of us have a purpose that we have to fulfill in I have to fulfill mine. Okay, I'm not saying you don't. Yeah, I have to fulfill yeah. it. You have, you, I feel like you have a part in that, you know, but we all have to go through, we all have to go through routes, uh, pathways, and things in our life to get there. Yeah. We have, for, to be ready, to be, to be able to be used. Yeah. In that in that in that capacity, because a lot of us, you know, like uh, like I was talking about cleansing and going through different things, I sure surely wasn't ready. Um, a while back, oh my gosh, I thought I was ready, and I I was shown so many things about myself, and just oh my gosh, I've had to go through a lot of cleansing. Yeah. So, um, it's sweet what what you said. That's wonderful, but. I have to fulfill my purpose. I have to finish my journey. Yeah. And I can't just, you know, stop and say, oh, well, I think I'll just do this and not finish finish it because I have to finish. Is it, so. so what does that mean, you have to finish? I have a job. I have a big job to do. Uh-huh. And it's... What's that job? I can't go into that. Uh, I can't tell anybody because only certain people can know because it's just you just don't, you don't. Right. Okay, so what, but I don't understand what you're saying. What, you know, so you have a journey, you have a job to fulfill, but what does that mean? I don't well, that. it's, it's a lot, a lot of it's, it's things I have to do. Okay, so how does it affect me? Well, for one, everybody, like, like you need to, I don't know, you may not be ready for that, though, to pray. You have to pray about who, what your calling is, what, what your purpose is, your whole purpose. Don't you think I already know that? Don't you think I'm living it? You don't know all of it, though. Well. You don't know I all of it yet. Well, listen, I, I don't need like to know all of it right now because I just do I what's know, in front of me. I know, I know, I know, but you, there's more. Yeah. But well, anyway, yeah. um, there's, I know that there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be doing in the future. Okay. And so, I can't just, you know, go do my own thing. I can't just hop out and do my own thing, you yeah. know? You have to keep following what you're doing. I have to keep on my journey, <laughs> yeah. my pathway, for my purpose. Uh -huh. If I get off of my purpose and I go jack around and do something else, it's it's very... Alright, so are you fulfilling your purpose here? This is, this is part of what I'm doing here is learning certain things and um, going through certain things. I've gone through a lot of... I know you don't see everything, you, you know, I don't tell everybody everything, but I have gone through lots of cleansing, lots of um, um, changes in yeah. my mindset, in certain things. So what, what is this, like, um, so what does this stuff have to do with, um, uh, with like staying here? I mean, you're staying here now, right? Yeah. It's fine, and you've been staying here, fine, right? Yeah. Okay, so if I if I ha if I make Ellie and them leave, then um, you'll go with them. Most likely, unless Father says no, stay. Okay. I mean, I, he would have to say stay, but as far as I know, you know, we we are all together, and. Uh, you know, we, we could do everything together, oh. and then p different well, people are coming okay, in. Okay, so you you decide what you need to do. I just talk to Father and find out if you're supposed to stay or go. Because if they don't if they don't do what I 
need them to do, then I, I don't want them here. I don't feel safe. If they do what I, if they do what I need them to do, then then it's fine. You know what I mean? Which is get that garden planted like they said they were gonna, and um, and either put the car both in mine and her name so that she counts out and I you know we have to sell it at the same time and I get my money, or uh, at least put it up for sale or you know give me some kind of. Because, you know, she could just drive that thing away. And it's like, okay, there goes my 400 bucks. And it was because, I mean, if she doesn't want to sell it now, she thinks she's going to make money later on, I don't mind waiting. But I don't have anything like that. And that came at the same time as she left me without planting the garden. It's not right. You know, I don't care what she had to do. You know, she got me to do that. She had a contract with me, and she just blew me off. And it's not, it's not right, and she's going to have to figure out some way to make it up because uh you know I'm not feeling like I like she should be here if that means losing you then that's what's going to happen but I don't want to I don't want any of that I you know I'd like you guys to stay but you know I can't stay somewhere where some where I feel like someone's going to cheat me cuz then I'm worried about what else are they going to do you know so yeah okay so you you decide I mean Whatever goes down. I mean, if Adelaide comes and they get that garden planted right away and Sean moves his car right away and um, and they clean up the their campsite and all that and put in the garden and fi figure out some way to that I have some kind of collateral for the for the 400 bucks, then they could stay. You don't have to sell that car, but as long as, uh, as I got some kind of real collateral on it, because now I don't trust her. You know, she said one thing, and uh, and didn't do it. So now, if, anytime I got to deal with her, I'm gonna it's like make sure that I have collateral, or you know, it's like I'm gonna make sure that it's in case because I don't trust her. Because because God will tell her to go do something to fuck me over. So and I've been fucked over twice by her. That's how I feel about it. And I tell her to her face that she was here. But she's not here, is she? She's like, you know, that's some bullshit. It's like, just push, all right, so, uh, she did what Carlisle did. It's like, I'm just going to take off and not talk to anyone. That's what she did to me. Same thing. You know, it's like, well, I wonder where he gets it. Anyway, so, um, you know, just takes off without it talking to me and saying how long I'll be gone or whatever, you know, especially when we had plans. I mean, it's her life. She gets to go do whatever she wants, but not right with, when we're going to start doing a, a planning project, you know, especially when they've been living here free all winter. You know, I mean, I, it wasn't worth that much, but it was worth something. At least happening with spring planning. We got to that point, and I bought the, I bought all the stuff, and she takes off. That's like some bullshit, nah. Yeah. You know? That's just wrong. That's just wrong. Well, she had, she had, if she had to go, she had to go. Okay, so whenever... No, I, she can't, she what, has to do what Father shows okay, her. Okay, so if Father tells her to fuck me over, then she needs to go. She needs, she needs to not be here. 